So the manager of Alfonso's taco place just installed a rectangular fish pond in the, in the restaurant's dining room. The pond has a length of 10 feet and a width of 6 feet. Now he wants to install a parabolic bridge that spans the pool for customers to walk across. And he wants the bridge to be a height of no more than 3 feet above the pond. We can picture it, folks. I can, you can, we can all picture it. There's the bridge. This needs to be a maximum of 3 feet. I guess that means it could be shorter, but let's say that we're going to try and do it at 3 feet. Um, and uh, it's it's 10 feet in width, um, or it's a length of 10 feet and a width of 6 feet. So let's read further. Sketch graph the bridge if it is to be built across the length of the pool. Label the coordinates of important points and calculate the A value. Okay. Once the bridge reads the height of no more than, well, shucks. Um, the pond has a length of 10 feet and a width of 6 feet. And he wants to install the parabolic bridge that spans the pool for his customers to walk across. Um, It's to be built across the length of the pool. See, that's what reading's all about, my people. Okay, its length is 10 feet. So this is going to be from 0 to 10. Okay, it's 10 feet wide. We're going to calculate the A value. I know because the width is 10 feet that this point right here has to be 5, 3. Okay, that's my vertex. So I already know my vertex mainly is going to be Y equals a, which I don't know yet. It's, I know it's going to be negative and I know it's going to be pretty wide. But I also know it's going to be an x minus 5 squared and it's going to be a plus 3. There's my h and my k. I put it into the equation. So you might say, well, how do we find a? Well, that's, that's a good question. We have three variables here. How am I going to get a by itself if there's an x and y involved? Well, we happen to know a couple x and y values. For example, 0, 0. That's an x value. A 10 comma 0 is another one. So I can choose this point or that point as long as it's not the vertex. Um, I'll use zero, 0, every time and twice on Saturday if, if, if I'm allowed to because it's just easier to plug in. 0 equals A times 0 minus 5 squared plus 3. And as I mentioned, it's going to be a negative. It's also going to be a, a pretty, you know, since it's so wide, it's going to be a pretty small fraction. So the two things I can do right now is subtract the 3 from both sides. So I have a negative 3, and I can also square the difference between 0 and 5. Negative 5 squared is 25. So this side becomes 25a. So you simply divide by 25, and there's my tiny little negative fraction. a equals negative 3 over 25. The equation, as I said before, is basically that. But now that we know the a value, I can write that in. Negative 3 over 25 x minus 5 quantity squared plus 3. Um, sketch a graph of the bridge if it's to be built across the width of the pool. Okay, the only difference here is that, you know, it's going to be smaller because this only goes to 6. That's 0. It's a whole bunch of the same stuff again. This is going to be 3, 6. Um, I mean, 3, 3, sorry. Uh, and everything else kind of falls in place. Uh, I'll go ahead and give you the hint, y equals blah, 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 parentheses, squared. I know it's going to be negative, same thing going on. I know that this is going to be x minus 3 squared plus 3. I'm going to give you the honor and privilege of finding that a value. It's exactly the same problem as the one before, uh, but it's probably not going to be as close to 0 because it's not as wide. Lastly, Alfonso must ensure that the bridge is safe for all customers, including the elderly and the wheelchairs. Which is safer? Um, well, I would probably wager a guess that uh, this one is going to be safer because it's wider and it's going to have a more gradual slope. Um, also, you know, it says no more than three feet above the ground. You could also say, well, I only want to make it two feet above the ground. It's going to have even a lower thing. So I would say the first one, regardless, is going to be better because regardless of the height of your bridge, it's going to be more gradual. This thing's going to be really kind of... Um, tall and bumpy.